Good morning. Um, so today we've got a plan of creating furniture. Um, so we've got some hired help for today. My dad's going to come over and help us in the garden to chop up the wood and make it the right size. So we're feeding the workers. Start with the bacon. Uh, we've got a pencil behind the ear, so I definitely look like I know what I'm doing. Can you do it? Sure. That's why we've got help. Yeah. Um, so we're going to make the structure of the furniture, try and put it into place where it's going to be um, and then once we're happy and we're going to put that in the van, then we're going to try and insulate behind it and pad in the rest and see what the rest of the wall space we've got to fill it is. Um, so that's today's plan. Yeah, it's a little bit different from how we've seen other people doing it and yet it makes a lot of sense. We're not padding behind it, then padding the furniture, two lots of wood, yeah. so we're going to build up from it. So, that's the plan. See you in a bit. So uh, yesterday we built all this, so we got a bit tired and it took a long time, but uh, we did it. In fact, my dad did most of it. I was just um, say we, we just kind of supported him and watched. Um, but uh, he did what we asked for, so we kind of did the work. Yeah, and I've got to say I'm so happy with the layout. So before we even had the van, we'd basically drawn this layout, and then yeah. we're like, well, we'll wait and see. Yeah. And then we kind of moved away from it, and then came back towards it and now that it's done so this is how the sort of seating area will be um when the bed's not out and there's loads of room the best thing is room for a big table for games yeah so. yeah yeah so it's cool so we've got like kitchen area at the back uh, and you can see the the igloo cool box which is hopefully going to come out on a slider uh, a little sink just by where lucy's head is and then like lucy said this will all be one level so like seating and this will be the bed section which will pull out that way to create a, a bigger bed and actually then the whole thing will pretty much yeah, just be so bedside pretty big it's a good size bed when it's yeah. pulled out and then you've got the little garage section so this is planned for a height of paddleboard uh, and to get some storage in. Um, so we're pretty pleased with how it's come along. Today we're back to kind of painting. So we want to try and just cover up the blue bits of like the back door and the side door and anywhere else we think that might end up being on show once we try and do the walls and kind of pad we're those in. Back and forth on how much will be covered or not. So we were going to paint last week, then we came to do it, then we're like, I don't know whether we'll see any of it. There's so many holes and weird bits. Um, but now we've gone back to let's just get it done, get it painted, and then work it out from there so that if anything's on show, it's on show. If it's not, yeah. it's not. So that's today. Catch you in a bit. Hi there. Okay, so we are just about to have lunch. Uh, we're all prepped and ready to go. And then after lunch, we're just gonna paint. Uh, we're just gonna talk you through the things we did and the steps we took to get to this position. So first off, there was this. Uh, so this is a degreaser. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we use this to clean the paintwork first. This isn't the one that we were originally gonna get, but it's the one they had. Um, so. Sure, so cool. Yeah, shop local. So um, we use that just to try and um, degrease the paint, clean the paint up just before we sanded it down. Then we used this one. Yeah, so this is a one, 120 sandpaper. 120. Uh, slightly rougher than we've got another one that actually even says on it between coats. Yeah, so, so yeah, this was for now. So we then sanded it completely with this, but in between coats of paint, we'll use a 320. 
Yeah. yeah, and then tack cloth all over to just get the dust off, which is funny because it's like just blue dust. We look like Smurfs. Yeah, yeah. And then tape top. Yeah, then yeah, we use classic frog tape for the windows. And then there were some seams that uh, the frog tape wouldn't stick to, so we used some of this. And this was used for like for... the rubber seals. The frog tape wouldn't. Yeah, stick. what was this originally? This is insulation tape. Oh, okay. um, so it's like super super sticky, but also comes off all right. Yeah. We hope. So then, yeah, you've got the uh, frog tape all around the windows to protect it, and then the foil on the seams. And just to point out um, over there, I, mean, I know we've already said we're painting just in case areas. But we haven't got Scooby what we're going to do with that bit that's like the seatbelt post between the front and the back. Yeah. Um, the trim was connected the whole way to there, so it all had to come off annoyingly. Yeah. But obviously the seatbelts are just kind of out in the loose, so yeah. I, I don't really know what we're going to do. No. So we're covering it for now. So we're going to do the first coat of paint after some food, see what it looks like, and then just go from there. Yeah, also I'm on like a level 7 hangover, which I think is written all over my face. Go team! We are done for the day. Uh, so we have finished the first coat of paint and it looks all right. It's gonna make it feel a bit lighter, a bit more cozy inside than the, the kind of bold blue. Um, so it wasn't easy to do, was it? Um, no, it wasn't easy. There's way more fiddly bits than you think. Um, and it has sort of a full day with, we have had an extra helper as well, so three yeah, of us have been yeah. doing this. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't unpleasant, it was fun. Yeah, no, it was good. It's yeah. just, um, there's so many like nooks and crannies around the, the bodywork, so trying to paint it, especially with a roller, because the rollers are like yay big, and trying to get into all those gaps was quite the, difficult. The minute you use the brush, it goes like yeah. really streaky. So we had seen someone recommend like the little foam, like a little foam brush, yeah. um, which we didn't have. So for the next time we'll get that, that was yeah. our badge for not remembering to buy that. Yeah, but it's only um, first coat. First coat, and so, we like it, it looks good. Yeah, yeah, like, it's cool. Obviously it doesn't look good when you guys are just looking at it because the walls aren't on, but everything that you see that is blue is not going to be there, it's going to be covered in wood yeah. or furniture. Um, so that is a wrap for today and we're going to do more coats during the week which we probably won't film and then hopefully next week it'll be painted and we'll see what we're doing next yeah all right yeah. laters hey uh lucy's out at work uh i'm on my lunch break so i'm quickly gonna do uh sand so that we can both repaint it tonight so uh this is the finer this is a uh, 275 sandpaper just to sand down over the paintwork uh, and then we can reapply a second coat later on tonight. See you in a bit. Hey guys! Hey! <laughs> hey guys! Hey, we just thought we'd jump in and cover a few things that we probably didn't say when we were busy doing it. Um, 
bit more details on some of the things that we needed to do the job. Yeah, so firstly, uh, the wood that we got uh, for creating all the furniture inside the van came locally from a company called Southern Timber. Uh, they delivered, so it was really, really handy uh, to, to just order from those guys and get it brought to our house. Um, so the, the actual furniture was made from 47 by 50 uh, kind of 2B2s that are 3.6 meters long uh, and then we just chop those up into to all the right sizes. Uh, secondly was the pane, yeah. uh, so that was a combi color rust-oleum. Um, so um, the idea behind that is though that it will protect it from rust and, and look after the paintwork for, for years to come. Uh, so that was good uh, and we got a color mix so we mixed it in brewers locally again um, and got the kind of stone creamy color that we wanted to get. Yeah, like just to say, they do more colours than you could ever need of Rustoleum, um, to the point where we couldn't choose. Could yeah, we? yeah. Um, and then we saw that brewers did it locally, and they had limited selections of colours, so then they mixed it up for us. But you might not need to get one mixed because no. there's every colour you could ever want. Yeah. In terms of getting the paint on, we ended up going with a brand called Pro Deck, um, which in hindsight I don't think we would have done again. So the internet recommends two camps: either high density rollers or a brand called Two Fussy Blokes and the Pro Deck were half the price of the Two Fussy Blokes but like really in the scheme of things it was a silly thing to scrimp on. I think it was like £7 versus £12. You paint in your van, you're not going to do it again hopefully. So like it just seemed a dumb thing to cut corners on in the end. It left like little fibres like particularly when you'd put a new roller on. Um, so advice would be go for the ones that are a higher price it's like it's silly otherwise but that said but, the, the final job actually looks yeah, good yeah like, really to be fair yeah that's me looking at it really close as yeah. it was going on like now like it's fine isn't it yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. good so yeah, yeah good. I guess weigh that up so but, when we were putting the paint on uh, we mixed it with uh, white spirit so I think that the internet was recommending like four to one yeah but we sometimes found it was a little bit too thin so we were adding a little bit more paint in um, yeah. just because we didn't want it to just run straight away when as soon as we put it on we were doing it in a lot of sort of awkward areas yeah. I guess like not big spaces so you don't really want it to drip and actually on that note um, I think we mentioned that we used frog tape on most places yeah um, but insulation tape on the rubber seals and again like I don't know what else we would have used yeah but it wasn't fun to get yeah, off. We, yeah, we would have been better to get something proper for that job. Yeah, than it. yeah. yeah. it worked -ish, yeah, yeah. but made it harder. So uh, that's it for this video. As always, uh, please like, please subscribe, please ring the bell, the usual stuff, um, and keep watching because we've got plenty more coming. Thank See ya. You. You look like you're rehearsing. I am. How does it feel to be on the other side of the camera? Not nice. <laughs> okay. okay. Pussy Blokes project. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it recording? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs>